think of terrorist targets, you likely think of big city buildings or locations where large crowds gather. But prime targets can also be in rural areas where an attack could cause destruction to power and water facilities. KCRA 3's Will Hereford traveled to Moccasin in Tuolumne County today to see how some people have rural terrorism in mind. These first responders, Tuolumne County SWAT and National Guardsmen, are being dropped off above the Moccasin powerhouse along Highway 120. In this scenario, a suspect living in the mountains east of the powerhouse has given authorities reason to believe the Moccasin facility is in danger. This involves a scenario where we have an unknown substance within a facility um, and we're trying to determine what that substance is and to take the correct action. Victims of chemical exposure are located and treated. Hazmat crews are called in to contain the substance. The water you see here is drinking water for San Francisco. From here, at the Moccasin After Bay, the water's westward journey from the Sierras to the Bay Area is underground. Any of the terrorist things across the United States, that's one of the things that they always contact us is to make sure that this water and power source is secure because this is a very vital point uh, for the Bay Area. Numerous federal, state, and local agencies are involved. The idea is learning how to work together. We try to get together uh, once or twice a year and try to, um, and to work out basically any issues that might come along um, and be ready in the event we actually have a real life scenario. It can happen here and those who will respond want to limit the surprises. Well, we never know what could happen, so that's why we're here. We're always ready and prepared for an event something does happen. In Tuolumne County, Will Hereford, KCRA 3 News. That drill was named Operation Urgent Thirst and by late afternoon it was being called a success.